Um, hopefully you've all been well. Uh, I am Jeremy. Um, hopefully you've already watched step number one where you've gotten your at sign. Um, because in this project, uh, if you head over to our GitHub repository on our GitHub, go to find at ESP32 and scroll down to the readme. We're going to follow these steps here um, for the next couple of videos. So yeah, the first step is to get your prerequisites down. So of course, install VS Code for the right operating system. And then once you have VS Code, you're going to want to download Platform.io. So once you open VS Code, go over to extensions here on the left, search up Platform.io, and then just click install. Then on the left taskbar, you should see this little alien icon, which is Platform.io. So um, if you don't see this, you can just right-click here, and then you might need to check the box that says Platform.io. Um, and then you can click Open over here, which will open the Platform.io home. Um, if you're unable to get to this part, you can also open the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p if you're on Mac. And then it'll open up the command palette here. And then you can just press or search up Platform.io home, and then press that, and it'll open the home. So yeah, that's the first prerequisite. Um, the second prerequisite is to get your at sign, which we did in step one. Um, it's important to know that you need two at signs for this project, so I'll edit that in after I record this. Um, here I have two at signs on my desktop with their at keys. Make sure you have those. Um, and then you'll also need an ESP32. Um, along with ESP32, you'll need a USB A to micro USB cable. I guess it doesn't have to be micro. Uh, sorry, it doesn't have to be USB A. Um, as long as you can interface to your ESP32, then that should be just fine. Um, it's also important to note here that this cable should be a data cable. So some cables only transmit power. Um, so if it's not a data cable, you won't be able to program on your ESP32. So make sure that's a data cable. Tyler, if you could edit in a photo here of what a data cable looks like, that would be great. Okay. Um, so yeah, now let's move on to step number two, which is setting up your project. Uh, let's open VS Code up here and let's go, go over to the platform IO home. Um, and you'll see here, step one is to go over to platform IO home and install the ESP32, not the Espresso 32 platform <coughs> under platforms and embedded. So we're going to go over here to platforms and we're going to go to embedded and we're going to search up Espresso and then we're going to install this one. There we go. Um, so now if you go over to installed, the install tab under platforms, um, you might have, a, I have a couple of versions just cause. So as long as you have one, I think that's fine. The important thing that you see here though, is you see Arduino here and Espresso IoT development framework. Um, the Arduino framework is what we're gonna be using for this project. Um, the next step is to go over to projects and we'll create a new project, give it a name. I'm gonna name it UMass Demo. Um, and then you're going to use the Espresso 32, uh, hold on, I think it was called, yeah, here it is, Espresso ESP32 dev module. I don't know why there are multiple of them. It's probably because I have the same platform twice, but um, any of those should be fine. And then for framework, you select Arduino. Um, I recommend you move it to a location you'll remember it in. So here I'm going to go over to my programming folder on my desktop. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a folder in the folder that you selected. So what my project will look like, well, it'll look like desktop slash programming slash UMass demo, which is um, exactly how I want it. Um, if you want, you can create an empty folder and put it in there, but you'll just have a folder holding a folder. So yeah, I'd select the folder with all your projects in it. And we can go ahead and click finish. And that'll create our project for us. Um, just remind me later. Yeah, so that's um, setting up your project. The next part is to go over to libraries. So here in our project, we go to platform IO home. Again, if you don't see that, just let me kind of close everything. You go over here and go to open. Or if you don't have that, you can also search up platform IO home using the command palette with control shift P or command shift P. Then go over to libraries, and then we're going to search up Arduino JSON, and we're going to download this one by Benoit, or Benoit, I don't know how to say his name. Um, and then go over here and select your project, and then you can just press add. There we go. Now let's go back to libraries and then search up at underscore client, 
This is what we'll use to program on the app platform. So this version might be different, but um, make sure this, I'll, I'll let you guys know if this version updates so you can update your ESP32s. Um, so yeah, I'll just add this to our project like so. And the next step in the readme is, oh, well, that's it. Okay. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is, uh, I'll edit this in after this recording. Go over to your platform.ini file. And then on the last line, well, it doesn't have to be the last line, add in this monitor underscore speed is equal to 115200. And then that should be fine. 